Penang. Just now we had just had like a really great lunch at Bihua. Oh, Bihua is one of my most favorite restaurants to eat when I'm here. Uh, they serve like halal cha kway tiao and uh, curry mee and kway tiao teng, which are all the Chinese kind of delicacies when you're in Penang. And now we're walking towards the chendol, the Penang, the famous Penang chendol, which is the Teochew chendol. Uh, the queue is gonna be long. You're gonna see that now. Whoa! Check out the line, guys. That's the line all the way to the front. What? The queue is amazing. People just kept coming. It's never ending. Chendol has been here for as long as I can remember and the special thing about the chendol here is that the santan is very fresh. Uh, most chendol if you try... Okay. Most chendol if you try the ones in KL, sometimes the santan is pretty artificial and also the chendol is handmade. But right now I think they are machine made, not too sure. So anyway, uh, it only costs about 2 ringgit 90 cents. Quite a good deal considering the flavour is just packed. So in case you're wondering, there's another Chendo store right opposite. It's almost equally as nice but not as many customers over there. We personally prefer this one but when they're closed for certain ceremonies or festivals, then we'll go to the next one. Hey Amalia, what's your opinion of this Chendo? Uh, it's good. Uh, it doesn't have pulu. Oh. You don't need pulu to be honest. Ah, sawa. Sawa. Yeah. Okay. So that's the chendo with the santan, and that's the red bean. And look at that, guys. What? Okay, sorry about the noise. It's quite noisy here, but yeah, whatever. Okay. Hey, I found a place to rest the bowl. Okay, that's it. Okay, so you have to mix the you have to mix the gula melaka, which is the brown sugar, with the santan. Then that's it. Mm. Oh man, I've been waiting for this flavor. Wow. The chendo is soft, savory slightly, and the santan is so creamy. Seriously, and the brown sugar is just. The perfect hint of flavor. Wow, what a bowl. So Penang is covered with wall art such as that one. It's just that it's the first time I'm seeing this guy eating a chandel uh, graffiti. Wow, good stuff. Okay, that's it. Great meal. Time to the next stop. So this is the next stop. Ah, guys, so this is the next stop. This is Ku Kong Si. This is the clan house of the Ku family. Ah, Ku Ji Heng is part of the Ku family. You can see his video right over here where he bought his uh, new bass guitar. So anyway, 10 ringgit entrance per person into this place. Uh, worth it or not? Uh, I'm not too sure because it's quite expensive for some place that is quite small. Uh, but you get to learn the history of the Ku family which is quite fascinating because the names, their middle names have a significance in terms of their generation. Oh, and just now we and flew the drone. Oh, those what? are all gold. See, according to here. So wow, those are all gold. Uh. Gold leaf works. Wow, those are all gold. Wow, my goodness. Okay, some B-rolls first and then I'm gonna tell you a story of the drone shots. <music> You probably see the drone shot of that building just now as the intro of this video. Uh, I was trying to get the drone shot just now and I lost the signal to the drone when I when my drone went behind the tower. The aircraft actually RTH. 
return to home if you don't know what that means. So the aircraft was returning to home on its own and I couldn't control the aircraft at all until it was hovering directly above me. Wow, what a drama today. Okay, that's it from Hu Kong Si. Okay, now next stop. Abu City Lane, this place is famous for their coconut. Okay, the famous coconut here is the pandan coconut. Slightly sweeter. Uh, but normally the flesh is slightly uh, harder. Not as tender as the regular coconut, but still nice. Still good. Okay, let's try. Wow. So sweet, natural sweetness. That's why in Penang we never put sugar in our coconut. That's an uh, abomination of coconut. So after you're done, you can give them your coconut and then they'll cut it into half and then you can use that to eat the flesh. Alright, thank you. Okay, so you can either use the regular spoon to eat the flesh or you can use this which is the natural way. Okay, let's crack it open. Traditional way is to eat using this. Mm. So good. Not as soft as the regular coconut, but still acceptable. Pretty good. Sweet! That's the most important thing. Get it! So, in case you're wondering, this place is called Anba Coconut and it's at Abu City Lane, right at the middle of George now. Check out the queue guys, super long queue. Oh then there's another queue there. Yeah, Penang guys like to queue for their food. Hey guys, good morning everyone. This is the next day, I probably skipped a lot of the vlog yesterday. So we are at Roti Canai Transfer Road. This is our favorite place to eat Roti Canai. The Roti Canai here is really crispy at the top, which is why we love it. When you're here, do not order the Roti Telo because the Roti Telo is not that good. Uh, but what you should look out for, if you come here early enough, is the dugging which is the beef curry. Yeah, the beef curry or the chicken curry. But the beef curry is better than the chicken curry and they always run out by around 11 a.m. That's how amazing this place is. Huh? By 10. Oh, she said it's by 10. So you have to come here. Right now it's already 9.28 and hopefully you can still get some beef. So when you are here, it's better to order kuah asin, which means that you want the roti to be on its own and not mixed with the soup. That's because you want to taste the crispiness of the roti itself and also to prevent the roti to be so good. Guys, check that out. Even pengantin have to makan here before the actual wedding. <laughs> yeah, so the roti is here. That's the roti. Too bad they gave us kuah banjir and they gave us roti telur. Such a disappointment. Uh, that's not what we want because kuah banjir is not as good as the kuah asing. Uh, but thankfully there's daging. Check out how, how tender this is. Look at that. It just, it just breaks apart. Mm. Daging is so tender. Slightly um, sour because of the gravy. The gravy is slightly sour. That's one of the characteristics of the gravy here. Very, very nice. Mm. Okay, I don't have high expectation for the roti because it's soggy right now <laughs> because of the kuah banjir. Okay, let's try that. Soggy. There's some crispy parts over here. Let me try to get that. Okay, the only crispy part. Okay, let's see. Mmm, that's much better. Okay, not gonna bore you with the rest of me eating it. So it's a time lapse time. Done. 
Done with the meal. A lot of chaos over there. You see a lot of people are sitting in that one row. That's how we sit traditionally. Ah, forgot to mention also that the whole entire meal just now was only like 14 ringgit 40 cents because the roti is 6 ringgit each together with the beef and the drink is only about 1 ringgit 20 cents each. I forgot to mention yesterday why there's Ku Kong Si and all this kind of Kong Si. Yeah, so this Kong Si, if you're wondering why they're here, it's, it's like a sort of social club or a community or it could be people from the same descent. And the reason why they're here is so that they can overcome uh, social oppression, they can overcome economic difficulties because they are one community. So they help each other. And inside the Kong Si, typically there's a temple, there's also an opera house. Pretty cool. So this is China House, one of the longest restaurants in Penang. Very very nice and it doesn't end here. Okay, let's continue. And that's it, we're at the front. This place is so amazing. There's so many restaurants in there, there's like at least five or six. They are famous for the desserts. I really love the salted caramel cheesecake, but the coffee is also good. Apparently they're open from 9am to 1am, so good stuff. Ah, so this is my alma mater, which is Penang Free School, oldest school in Malaysia. It's about 201 years old as of today, I think. Yeah, it was founded in 1816 by, I think, Hutchings? I have to remember my school history. But anyway, this is a school where I spent six years of my life in. Pretty brilliant school, amazingly huge feel. The clock tower is... I don't know how old is the clock tower, it's not as old as the school, but... It's brilliant! Okay, I'm gonna show you some drone shots. I'm not gonna bother you because uh, it's not part of this vlog, just an extra! 